Alright, this is Vegeta 8259 again. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Master Grade Zaku 1. And, uh, first off, uh, I've painted this kit in kind of a desert color scheme. So, let me show you what he'll look like straight out of the box. Or, more or less straight out of the box. This is the color scheme that the Zaku 1 is originally supposed to have. Pretty much just, uh, green and blue. Uh, he's got a little bit of gray for the joints and stuff like that, but mostly just green and blue. And he's molded in pretty much those same colors, so he's one of those kits you really don't have to worry about painting uh, if you just want to put it together. Alright, uh, I guess first off, uh, if you've seen uh, the 8th MS team, which is a really, really good series, by the way, there was a... Uh, team of Zaku's that had this uh, kind of a desert color scheme, this kind of a yellow and green, and I just uh, decided to go with that color scheme for my Zaku 1. And I did a little bit of uh, battle damage on this uh, model kit, it's got some, a lot of exposed metal, some silver on the uh, shoulder armor there, uh, a little just scraped up places all over him, especially in the feet. Uh, I just took a Dremel and kind of carved in some little dents and dings and scrapes and things like that. And uh, the original Zaku 1 kit doesn't come with a command antenna, although I really wish it did, but it doesn't. So I had to steal my command antenna from another uh, Zaku kit I had. Alright, so let's get into articulation. Uh... His arms rotate 360, and they go out only about that far, but I imagine that if you could uh, just remove some of this plastic and widen this uh, opening right here, that they could go out much further than that without too much trouble. And he's got another joint, I'll take off this arm, another joint inside the torso that uh, just kind of... It goes up and down, forward and back. So, it's got some pretty nice movement right there. Uh, he rotates below the shoulder. And he rotates at the elbow. He's got a double jointed elbow, but it only moves about, only goes about 90 degrees. And of course, like all those early master grades, he's got standard hands, ball joint for a wrist ball joint thumb with the index finger separate from the other three fingers. Alright, uh, the head is on a ball joint so it can go up and down uh, side to side a little bit more than the regular Zaku because he doesn't have those pipes on the side of his face. And the head can go 360. And I left it out on mine because it was giving me trouble for some reason but uh, there's supposed to be a little switch right here that uh, you can toggle back and forth and it makes the mono eye move side to side so you can do that instead of having to open up the head and move the mono eye manually so I thought that was a pretty nice feature and this little hatch on top of the head can open up and you can see a little bit of internal detail there and the cockpit hatch does open see the pilot and some other mechanical stuff uh, this left uh, shoulder armor can go up and down, give him a little bit more range of movement in that arm. Uh, there's no waist articulation at all, but the skirt armor does move. Side skirts go in and out a little bit. The front skirts are on ball joints, but they don't move too awfully much. And the back skirts don't move, but they've got, uh, just like on my Zaku 2 F2 review, He's got the same little uh, thingy that pops out on this side, but it's hard to get it to come out. I'll use this heat hawk. Wow, it just doesn't want to come out, does it? Anyway, this thing comes out so you can store his bazooka on there. See, there it goes. And then the thrusters are on ball joints. They can wiggle around. Uh, the thighs, the legs go forward like so. I go back about that far, 
They go in and out just slightly. The hips are on ball joints. The knees are double jointed, but they can only bend about that far. And the knee armor is on a peg, so it can go back and forth. Let's see, the feet, this little front piece right here can go up and down. And the feet are, they can go forward a bit, back a bit, side to side just a little bit. They can't rotate hardly at all. But that's what you get when you have these early master grades. I think at this point Bandai was still trying to uh, work out a lot of the technology they were using for the master grain line and this isn't the backpack that is supposed to come with this kit this kit had a lot of extra parts uh, left over that came from the Zaku 2 so I just used the Zaku 2's backpack instead of here it is this is the backpack that is supposed to have I went ahead and painted it anyway because I didn't know if I might want to switch it out at some point but that's the backpack that's supposed to be on there and uh, I guess we'll get into his accessories now. You already saw the Heat Hawk, which I used to pry open that little thingy. Uh, I think it's just molded in blue or green or some color, but I went ahead and painted it kind of a hunter green, silver, and gray. He comes with his uh, standard Zaku Bazooka. The little scope moves up and down. This handle moves. And it rotates right at the center there and you can clip it on to the back of the skirt armor and the Zaku 1 comes with two different machine guns uh, he comes with the standard regular Zaku machine gun that everybody's used to seeing uh, this little handle goes forward and back the scope is supposed to move but I think mine broke so I just glued it into place and the uh, well, the magazine here comes out, and you can, uh, I need the heat hawk again, you can flip out this little peg, and you can attach the little magazine onto his side skirts like so. I thought that was a nice feature. And he comes with a second machine gun, which is pretty much the same thing, only the uh, magazine is on the side instead of the top. And it just looks a little bit different. It doesn't have the little butt back here. And it's just kind of just a different version of the machine gun. The handle moves like that. And the scope moves up and down. And probably the Zaku, my uh, favorite weapon of the Zaku one is the punch shield. Which is basically just a normal Zaku 2's shield. Only it's got a handle on it so he can hold it. And then it's got three spikes on the front here. And as you can tell, I scraped it up and beat it up and added some silver paint so to make it look like he'd been beating the crap out of some other mobile suit. The only thing I don't like about the shield is that it's really hard to get him to hold it. Because it goes in his hand well enough, but then it wants to do that. He doesn't have a very good grip on it, so you'll either have to kind of add some glue around the handle to make it thicker, make him hold on to it better, or do something, I don't know. And last but not least, he comes with extra hands. Comes with two fists and two open palms. Alright, and I think that's just about it for this kit. Uh, this is one of my early Master Grades. I did this uh, several years ago. But uh, I really like the way it turned out. I like the uh, desert color scheme and the battle damage turned out well, I think. It's kind of weird how like you do a kit several years ago and it ends up being better than some of the kits you do nowadays. I don't know. I guess modeling's just weird like that. Maybe I'm losing my touch. I don't know. But I guess that does it for this review and I will see you guys next time.